Yeah, uh, what a what a fantastic team Houston is. Um, you know, we knew going into the game that we had to play our best to give ourselves a chance to win. Obviously hoped we'd have Darian Williams. He wasn't able to go. He tried in, in warm-ups, and he did everything he could around the clock to play and just couldn't go. Um, and so we were a little short-handed, but, man, at the half, we closed the gap thanks to chance. I thought our competitiveness, our defense, our scrap was where it needed to be. But in the second half, their guard just took over. Um, we, we struggled to defend the three-point line, and really their ability to break us down and put us in ball screens and move the basketball got us on our heels. And uh, we, we tried to probably get too much back too quickly, turn the basketball over, and that's what great teams do to you. So uh, hats off to Houston. They've got a great team. But this team is excited about playing in the NCAA tournament. And we've got a lot to play for, and we want to get back and get healthy and be ready to compete. And this team will, and we've got some great days ahead. Well, Justin Williams from The Athletic. Coach, this is the second time you played Houston this year. I know everyone talks about the monster trap and their metrics are great, but just from a sideline perspective, what makes them so tough? What do they do in the game that can help them go on those runs and keep teams from scoring for five minutes or so? Yeah, well, um, you know, I've, I talked to a lot of people going into this game, and it was like, how do we get them on their heels enough to where you get open shots? And everybody said, like, whenever you get a good look at the rim, you got to shoot. Because their ability to close space and their closeouts are as good as I've seen. I mean, you just don't get very many rhythm shots against them. And when you do, I thought one possession in particular sticks out in my mind. We did a decent job finally of getting – the ball moved and it got one more to Kerwin and I thought he had a good look and the next thing you know the space was closed and he closed out made him shoot a little quicker than he wanted to and when they're locked in and the way they rotate it's even as good as the trap is and the way they put two on the ball with their length it's their rotations and their ability to run people off the line that I think makes them and then you get in the paint and you think you got an angle and they got length to contest it and it's just always somebody in between you and the basket with length and athleticism makes it extremely difficult well you know all things considered that's a th those three guards are elite I mean Jamal Shedd took the game over I thought by just distributing he was having a hard time scoring and I thought our guys put ourselves in great position and then he ends up with 10 assists it's kind of what great point guards do when they're not scoring great they include other people um and then LJ and Emmanuel making threes at that rate with that kind of space. And they got a lob threat, too, at the rim. So you're always in these situations where you better make them move backwards. And for our team to finish games, and we haven't been able to finish either game. We've gotten close for 25 minutes, for 20 minutes. And that's where the physicality and the ability to, to fight and compete with depth is so important against them. And if there's anything I'll tell you is we've got the right guys. We just need to add a couple more that are healthy so that we can finish this game. And I like our game plan. I like our competitiveness. I didn't do a good enough job when we went with that smaller lineup of giving us a way to score with the rate that they were scoring at. And if I can do a better job with that, uh, I know I could help our team in that situation. But ultimately, that's a fantastic team that gave us um, trouble all night long.